Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to send WhatsApp messages from Gmail using email password. So here my objective is that every time a new email is received through Gmail, then automatically a WhatsApp notification must be sent to the user who has just sent the email. So here, as soon as this email is sent and is received by me here, then automatically a WhatsApp message must be received by this person with all the details. Now to do this, we'll have to integrate email parser, which is a feature by Pabli with WhatsApp and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So our trigger application will be email parser where we are going to forward all our emails to a particular email address provided and then our action application will be WhatsApp by AISNC. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is the home page of Pabli Connect and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. Now if you are an existing user simply sign in and if you are a new user you'll have to sign up. It's not going to take more than two minutes also at the time of account creation you are going to get 100 free tasks to test all these automations. Now since I'm an existing user I'm simply going to click on sign in and as we do that here we have reached all apps page. Here I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect and as we do that here we have reached a dashboard. Now on the right hand side there's a tab create workflow click on this and here you have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective which is to send WhatsApp messages for Gmail using email parser. Now here you have to select a folder where you want to place this workflow. I have selected the same and here I'm going to click on create. So as we do that, here we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now, what do I want every time I receive an email? Then automatically with the details, I should be able to send a WhatsApp notification to the person who has sent me that email. Let's say that it's a query or it's a complaint, then I want to send a WhatsApp message accordingly. For this, I'm going to use a feature by Pabli, which is email parser. Now, what does it do? So email parser provides you this email address. And now what you need to do is every time you have received an email, so it sends or forwards the email to the above mentioned email parser address. And then we can get all the details from that email, like the mobile number, like the content, subject, sender's name, email address, etc. So I'm going to copy this. And once this is done, first of all, I'm going to take you to the email address where I want to place this email. So here I'm going to go to settings. Within settings, we have see all settings. And here we have to go to forwarding and pop slash IMAP. Now within this, you can see here it is written add a forwarding address. So click on this and add this email address here. Click on next. So as we do that, it is saying forwarding mail to this particular email address here. I'm going to click on proceed. As we do that, now it is saying that a confirmation link has been sent to this email address to verify permission. Okay, so I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect and here in the response that we have received, Let's go down and you can see in the body text, it is given that this particular email address has requested to automatically forward mail to your email address. And this here is the confirmation code. So I'm going to copy this, take you back to my email address. And here I have to paste the confirmation code and click on verify. So, okay, you can see we have verified the forwarding address. Now here I'm going to select forward a copy of incoming email to this particular email address. And once this is done, let's come down and click on save changes. So now here we can see that it is written you're forwarding your email to this particular address and this notice will end in seven days. Okay, so once this is all set, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here I'm going to quickly click on recapture email parser response. Let's click on yes. Now, once we do this, now the moment an email is received by this email address, then automatically we are going to receive the response here. 
so I'm going to send an email to that address now this here is an email that I'm supposed to send to the email address where we have added the email parser so the subject is new integration complaint and here is the message. Hello team, I'm facing an issue in a particular integration with Pabli Connect. Please help me with the same regards. Then there's a name. And here we have the mobile number. Now remember that whenever you're using email parser, it has to be in a particular format. So you have to pre-decide the format that you want to use. So here you have to make sure that after hello team, you should not put any comma that I'm going to explain you later why we are not supposed to do that. And also the mobile number has to be written. Why? Because we need to extract this number as we want to send a WhatsApp notification to this person. Now, as I click on send automatically, the response must be received by email parser. So I'm going to now take you to Pabli Connect once again. And here you can see we have received the response. So let's check the response that we have received. So here we have received the display, the address. Then we have the name of the person who has sent this email, email address. This here is the subject. Now, as I take you down here, we have the body text. And within this, it is written, hello team, I'm facing an issue in a particular integration. The same message is displayed here. Now, once this is done, since I want to send a WhatsApp notification to the person, so I want to extract this mobile number. So I'm going to use a feature by Pabli, which is text formatter. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be text basic formatting. Here I'm going to click on connect. Now, as we do that here, we have to map the string that is to be extracted so as i click on this you can see the previous step and now as i take you down this here is the string now this method with which i have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time you receive a new response that new response can be taken into consideration had i written this manually had i written this manually then this information would have become static which means even when there was a new response, it would have taken the same thing that is written here. So to avoid this problem, we map the information. And here in transform, I'm going to use extract phone number. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as we do that here, we can see our phone number has been extracted. And now for sending the WhatsApp message, I'm going to use this application, which is WhatsApp by ISNC. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be to send template message. Let's click on connect. Now here, Pabli Connect wants to connect with WhatsApp by SNC account. Here I have selected add new connection. Now to set up this connection, we need this API key. How can we receive this? For this, first of all, I'm going to take you to my SNC account. Now here we have to go to manage. Within manage, we have API key. This is the key. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect, paste the same here. And now let's click on save. So once this is done, we can see WhatsApp by SNC and Pabli Connect are connected. Now here we have to enter all this information. First of all, we need the campaign name. Now let me take you to ASNC once again. And here within manage, we have template messages. So we have created a few messages. Now I'm going to take you to campaigns. So these messages are the part of the campaigns that you have created. Recently, I have created this campaign. The name is Temp the name is emails received so here the name is emails then here we have the campaign type message type template name created date and time and now this here is the template dear we have received your email with the following details here you have the email address subject content please allow us some time to get back to you regards automation team now here the numbers which are there in the double curly braces are known as variables and they can be changed with every message. So this is important so that every time you're sending a message, it should look like it is totally customized and personalized and you do not have to do anything manually. Now I'm going to quickly copy the name of this campaign, go back to Pabli Connect, paste the same here and delete the refresh part. Here I'm going to map the mobile number. This here is the mobile number. Remember that the mobile number has to be written with the country code and plus sign to avoid any errors. Next here I'm going to add the username. Then we need the source, source of lead. So here I'm going to write email. Now tag. So here I can write new email. You can give any other tag as well. 
Now here we have to enter the parameters. Basically, the value of these variables are to be written here. So we need the name, number, subject and content. So here I'm going to first of all write the name. Separate this with a comma, email address. So this here is the email address. Then we need a subject basically. So here is the subject and then we need the content. So here is the content. Once the details are added next, if you wish to add any attributes, you can do the same in the same format given here. And if you have any particular file to be shared, so the file name has to appear here and the URL has to come here. Remember that this URL has to be publicly accessible. Now here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, here we have received the message. It says that it is a success. Now I'm going to take you to the WhatsApp number of the person to see if we have received the message. And yes, here we can see we have received this message. So this means that our integration here is a complete success. Now let's check the same in real time. So I'm going to write another email. So this is the mail that I'm going to now send. So the mail has been sent and as soon as the mail has been sent then what should happen automatically the person should receive a WhatsApp message. So now let's wait for a few seconds and here you can see we have received another message. So this means that our integration here is a complete success. Taking you back to Public Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger was email parser where the event was to capture email parser. The first action application was a feature by Pabli which is text formatter. This was to extract the phone number. And our final action application was WhatsApp by SNC where the event was to send template message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.